Discovery. We're here to measure ocean properties and currents in the Southern Ocean, which connects all the other oceans by the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, as well as connecting the deep ocean to the atmosphere by the meridional overturning circulation. In Drake Passage and the Scotia and Waddell Seas, we can observe both the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the world's largest, and the formation of Antarctic bottom water, which fills the abyssal oceans across the globe. Scientists have been coming here nearly every Antarctic summer to monitor the ACC and the waters it carries. From these long-term repeat hydrographic observations, we've learned about the complex links among winds over the Pacific and around Antarctica, the fronts of the Antarctic circumpolar current, water mass formation and transport, small-scale mixing, and the overturning circulation. As the time series are extended, they have also allowed us to detect trends in deep ocean properties and how they are connected to other changes in the ocean, atmosphere, and cryosphere, like increasing Antarctic ice melt. But how do we make these observations? We use an instrument known as a CTD, lowered over the side of the ship by a winch to measure ocean properties, including temperature, conductivity, or salinity, dissolved oxygen, and pressure. It is mounted on a frame known as a rosette for the ring of bottles used to collect samples of seawater from different depths. Deck, bridge, the vessel is on station. You have permission to deploy the CTD. While the CTD is descending, we can see the ocean properties it is measuring and choose where to take samples for more measurements on its way up. When the rosette is brought back onto the ship, we collect a variety of water samples. Some we preserve and send back to shore for analysis, while others we analyze at sea in the shipboard labs.
I'm sampling for microplastics across Drake Passage and across the Weddell Sea. I'm taking water samples at a variety of depths at some of the stations that we're sampling and then filtering the water down and collecting everything that's in the seawater on a filter paper which I then analyse um, using microscopy and fluorotransform transform infrared spectroscopy back in the UK. discrete quantities with continuous data from the CTD itself as well as with ocean current data to learn how the water masses in the Southern Ocean change from year to year. Recently, these long time series have shown how very dense water spreading out from the Weddell Sea into the overturning circulation was first decreasing and then leveling off in the last few years. This year's data will add to the time series and help us understand interannual variability and distinguish it from long-term trends. This repeat CTD section is unusual for the data poor Southern Ocean, and that's why it has been particularly valuable. On this cruise, we also deployed several Argo Autonomous profiling floats, which add spatial and temporal coverage to the ship-based observations. they will allow us to answer even more questions about how the Southern Ocean works, the role it plays in the global climate system, and how it changes over time. Mm -hmm.